I'm going to do a quick video of something a little bit different. We're going to talk about the software that I use to run my stream, Ankbot. So you guys probably have heard of some of the other ones like Moobot and Darkbot um, or Nightbot. But Ankbot is pretty cool in itself. So let's, let's just take a look at what it's got. We're just going to do a little run through of uh, how my stream works and what Ankbot features there are. So I'm currently streaming actually while I make this. Um, first, first things first, when you get in, you need to add your bot login and your streamer login. Now your bot login is the, uh, you have to make a separate Twitch account for that. You can sync up your Ankbot with your Google account um, if you log in with Google and it's pretty cool, pretty dope. Um, front page is just the console, which is basically the chat and the viewers. Uh, pretty simple there. On your dashboard, you can do a lot of nifty things. You can manage your title and the game that you're in. So right now I am in stream production mode and creative. You can launch commercials, uh, do automated hosting. You, this was like a thing before it became a thing on Twitch. And you can check like some information about what happened uh, throughout your current stream. Commands, this is cool. This is where you get to make commands that people can use in chat. Um, as you can see, this is a list of commands that I have and uh, you can add new ones here. You can uh, specify who can use the commands, add some additional information, cooldowns, uh, whether they're enabled or not, or whether the bot will chat it to them, whisper them, or do both. Uh, so that's pretty uh, interesting. I actually need to use the usage one a little bit more. Another thing that you can do is have timed commands. So I have a couple different ones here. My poll, when I have polls up, uh, it'll go off every 20 minutes. My 20 minute message goes off every 20 minutes. and Another one that I don't use anymore. I'm actually going to do remove that. Remove, yes. Okay. The quote system. So sometimes you say some wacky stuff on stream and people catch it. I should probably just get out of here. I don't even want, like, there's a quote system, guys. There's a quote system. I don't even want to look at that. I know it's going to be bad. Raffles. Raffles. Let's talk about raffles. You can set up your, you can just, you can run your raffles through here. That's, that's about it. It's pretty sweet because you can also set the permission, or sorry, the, the join permissions so whether they need to be a subscriber a regular or anybody can join oh you can do with a minimum rank oh that's so cool or minimum amount of points i never saw that before uh, and then you can uh tell people what their prizes is and whatever you know. this one i love sound effects section so i have a lot of sound effects uh for example why is everyone so fucking stupid <laughs> why aren't more people intelligent like me. You can have a, a whole section here in Ankbot about, uh, or sorry, there's a whole section dedicated to sound effects, and I make mine cost a certain amount of points. Um, we'll get into the points system, or the currency system right now. So that's pretty self explanatory. You just add sound effects to your chat, they play, and people hear them, they're sweet. All right, now you can, everyone here can set up their own in stream currency. Mine is protein because we do um, a lot of fitness around here. So uh, you take a minute, set everything up. You have to get take a good look at these options. I don't want to talk about everything, but you can create uh, ranks for people based uh, and base it on the amount of hours or the amount of points that they have. Uh, a lot of customization is available here. It's pretty cool, and people get uh, people get a kick out of seeing what their rank is, whether or not they're in the top ten or top five or whatever. Uh, there's other stuff in here. Let's go to the mini game section. So the betting system, you can uh, basically just start people betting. Um, I think sometimes I, I do whether or not I'm going to win or lose a game, let them bet. Um, the next one is the poll system. Oh, this is what I did today. Should I now do one more viewer game or work on stream production? Well, I guess I decided to do the extra game. I had to play it. Uh, and then you can do group mini games. Uh, there's a command here for a heist type game. It's a, it's a big mini game that uh, you can use it as heist or you can customize it if you want. Uh, all the options are right there. Uh, the event system. Actually, I have never used the event system. Wow. On user specific event, client only, something happens. I haven't even really looked in here. I don't know. I don't know what the what the event system does. I'm gonna skip that. Um, the playlists or song requests. You can set up your own custom playlists and uh, manage it all through here. So when people request songs, I see it in the queue here. Uh, I can add songs to a block list, and then I can load playlists in here. If I want to load a different one, I, I only have one right now, which is my stream playlist. It's pretty huge. Brother made it. <laughs> um, this one's really useful. for So when I do viewer days and we're playing Dota, we open up a queue. People type exclamation mark join, and then they start playing. Or, and then I know who to add. 
Um, I always tell them to leave a note what their actual Steam name is. And then the general settings page, like randomly. Uh, I have my bot put random symbols in front of messages, so I don't always have to pay attention to the bot. Uh, I can distinguish it that way pretty easily. Uh, follower notifications in chat and say something nice to people who follow you. There's a whole bunch of settings here you could take a look at, but um, yeah, that's pretty much a rundown. There's some extras as well. Let's take a quick look. So you can set up a death counter <laughs> for your stream to count the amount of times you die. Um, there's uh, also documentation for this if you ever get confused. An extra quote-like system, so I use one for a gallery which is just images people have made on my stream. Uh, import points and quotes, you can ex export your, quote, uh, your, your currency uh, values. So if you ever need to import them, you can do it here. I don't know what the Cyrillic commands are. Localization, you can uh, customize literally every single thing that the bot does and says. <laughs> like you can change every single thing. There's a ton of options here. So definitely take a look at this area if you are uh, just getting started with Ankbot, and then there's Whisper Config. So you can configure how uh, whispers work. Okay, uh, thank you guys for watching the video. That's pretty much a rundown of what I or what the software is that I use to run my stream. Uh, if you guys want to give Ankbot a shot, uh, give it some consideration. The downside to it is that they don't. Pl the guy who made it uh, doesn't plan on developing it anymore. He's fixing bugs, but he's not going to be adding new features or anything like that. I like it. It's still one of the best bots out there. It's free um, and it's pretty versatile. So if you guys uh, are looking for a bot, I would recommend it, but it's not, not, as, uh, not as easy to use as some of the others. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. And uh, well, let's do this for a second. You know what? While, while, while I got you here. Guys, thank you for watching. Uh, hit that button. All right, see ya.